hey guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial is how to get the aesthetic color look uh, on your video using vegas pro software all right so here i have a video clip in my timeline that are pretty much color great and this is how the video is going to look like okay so i'm going to show you the before oops this is the before okay and this is the after before after before and after and you can pretty much get the idea uh, where when we talk about aesthetic they have this sort of a uh, purple creamy and bluish tint on our video or images here all right so uh, here I have the same cut in my timeline like this one here okay and we're gonna recreate the same look from what we have done over here all right, so uh, if you're using Vegas Pro 17 and above, there is a grading panel. To access the grading panel, make sure you click and highlight the area and press this icon here, color grading, and it will just load up the grading panel. All right, so before I jump into the settings and what I do on the image to get the purple look, I highly recommend you guys to watch my previous color correction and color grading tutorials so you have a better understanding on referring to video scopes and how to use this grading panel, all right? So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do usually I'll start off with the exposure but from this image uh, it's pretty much there okay nothing much that, that I can fix maybe I can add a bit of uh, you know increase a bit of the black area here increase a bit of the highlight area and since this image was shot in lock profiles so that's not much of color in our image all of this was shot in lock so I have to add a bit of the color so I just go to the input area and add a bit of saturation so we have a bit of fidelity in our image so we can add more I mean color this image uh, more nicely since we have a bit of colors now all right so uh, usually uh, the the aesthetic or the purple look uh, it comes in the gain and the lift area, which is this is our shadows, our midtones, and our highlight area. So on the gain section, you want to pull to the purple section, and you can pull to to your own personal liking how much you want the purple to look. You can go crazy if you want to, but I feel around this area or this amount is pretty much good. Okay, it's all up to you how you want to have the aesthetic color to look like. Okay and i think this look pretty great and then on our shadow area which is the lift you want to add a bit of a blue just a tiny touch is enough okay and i'm gonna play a bit of the curve here it's the same thing as this slider here but this is more more uh controls on our exposure area and this is our base look and it's pretty much done okay and then what I'm going to do now is go to the video effects tab and I'm going to search for an effect called soft contrast. Just drag and drop to our video. As you can see, it add tons of contrast and it also soften our video. Okay. You may or may not like this look. Okay. For my own personal preference, I don't like this too contrasted look. So I just kind of tone down the amount of contrast. The stretch range is pretty much how bright our highlight area going to be okay some people like this some not so i prefer just a tiny touch and then the diffusion is pretty much how glow how soften the uh highlighted area going to be so i'm just going to increase it all the way up and pretty much done so this is our look of the base look that we are going for right and you can repeat the same process for the same uh i mean for the next video okay uh you want to do the same thing but the value might be different because this video have a different exposure this one will be different all right so just watch what i'm, what I'm doing here on this video okay uh, so this this part here is too bright so i'm just gonna tone it down a bit by referring on my waveform okay add a bit of the highlight area here and then the, since it's a lock footage again i'm gonna add a bit of saturation by referring on the vector scope this is a tiny touch and then go to the color wheel and add a purple tint on our on our video i think that's look great add a bit of blue and that's look amazing in my opinion if it's too much you can go to the input area turn down a bit of the saturation and that's look fantastic so let's add the soft contrast tone it down a bit i think that's look great let's add a bit more contrast here 
increase the diffusion and let's look amazing in my opinion right so let's do for the third video clip and this one you can see on a waveform it's a bit overexposed so just gonna fix it real quick there add a bit of saturation okay just like so tackle a bit more on the waveform and then I'm gonna add a bit of the purple look on the highlight area and then add a bit of blue on our shadows there and that's look pretty amazing all right so now I'm gonna add the soft contrast tone it down we add a bit more because the diffusion and uh, you can be more creative uh, what you can do now uh, if I go back to my previous edited clip I have this sort of a glint uh, look here so to edit those glint effects you can go to your video effects tab and search for an effect called glint which is the sparkle you're gonna drag and drop it to our, our to your video as you can see it's too much okay this glint will appear on your video based on which uh, on the brightest part of your video so to tone it down, you're going to increase a bit of the threshold here. So tone down, reduce a bit of the boost. Now there is a color here on the glint uh, based on the hue. You can control the hue, but I'm not a big fan of color on the glint. So I'm just going to bring down all of the way, the saturation all the way down. Make sure to enable reduce flicker so that the effects are going to be constant throughout the video when it's playback. All right. And I'm going to tone down a bit more the boost. And that's look pretty amazing and you can go back to color grading here uh, maybe add a bit more blue here and uh, as you can see the skin tone is a bit too reddish uh, you can go to the video effects tab and search for color corrector okay it's somewhere around here here is it drag and drop and it's pretty much the same as the grading panel here but uh, the way color corrector tackles the color with the grading panel are a bit different okay so i'm just gonna add a bit of yellow to the to the other area and then a bit somewhere like that so it fix our skin a bit just like so and that looked pretty amazing in my opinion okay maybe this one have too much of color so i'm gonna tone it down a bit just like so add a bit more purple there a bit more blue here and that's great all right so let's say you're happy how the outcomes look like the final touch that i will usually uh do to this aesthetic color grade is to add a green so you want to go to the video effects tab and search for an effect called film effects there is a film grain but i personally use the film effects because there is more controls and adjustment over the film grain all right so since i want to affect everything here on this all of, on all of this video instead of adding one by one to each video i can just drag and drop it to the video track so i have my own custom presets and now it'll affect everything on the video and usually the grain i leave it at 100 by default value but if you want to have more grain you can increase it okay and for the particles i will disable jitter and scratches i will leave it all the way to zero the hair and the flicker as well as the dust i have a certain amount of values you can play around see what uh you like the most uh from the film uh, effects here all right so this is how you color grade or achieve the aesthetic look uh with vegas pro uh, software so if you have any question related you can leave it down in the comment section and i will try my best to help you guys so see you guys next time on my next video